Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time because it's Friday. And that means it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. For this edition, I don't have a theme, but I have three channel sponsors that have sent us products to explore and evaluate. And the first one of those sponsors, I want to give a special shout out thanks to NT Alpaca, because they have sent us this very cool alpaca poncho. Now, if you're not familiar with alpacas, they have some of the best natural fiber. Their hair is hollow, so you get a, a, a better, it, it retains heat better. It's warmer in, and it's lighter per warmth. So it, it, it's just some really good stuff. And NT Alpaca, all of their products are handmade on looms. So this, this was actually created by, by a craftsperson and their products are just gorgeous. Now you can see, I got, I got some Ziva hair on this one. A little white dog hair gets everywhere. <laughs> but this is, this is extremely comfortable. It's very soft and it is, it's actually really warm. Surprisingly enough, it's kind of cool today. Uh, so it got here just in time. The one thing you have to keep in mind when you're wearing a, a poncho like this though, is when you, you bend over, you gotta, you gotta hang on to it. Now you could do the, the Clint, Clint Eastwood style, like uh, in one of those spaghetti westerns, he wore his gun outside to hold it from, op keep it from opening up. But anyway, this, these are great for hanging out by the fire, staying warm in a cool campsite, or snugging up when it's cold at night in your kitchen or in your living room. Snuggle up with some alpaca. Now you do have to hand wash it or put it on a, a gentle cycle. And you'd probably want to use a product like white uh, to keep it from degrading. Yeah, but this is really, really comfortable. I've never worn, I've never worn a, an actual poncho before, uh, a warm poncho. But anyway, I kinda, I'm, I'm really liking it. Oh, I need to show you, it's got a hood. So if you're, your ears get cold. There you go. I guess I, I could put it on over my hat, my ball cap too. The way I get the best. I get the sunblock and my ears stay warm. Very cool. Thank you for Indie Alpaca for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Fine. Moving on to our next sponsor of this edition of Friday's Fines. New Master. Actually, it wasn't New Master. It was Multi-Tool Direct. Multi-Tool Direct has sent us an item to explore. And that is the New Master Cordless Leaf Blower. This is a must add accessory to your RV kit. If, if you don't have a leaf blower, you need to get one because they come in so very handy when you, when you pull into a campsite. If the pad is covered in leaves, rather than sweeping it off, you just blow it off. It works great. To, if you've got damp firewood and you're trying to get the fire started, they work great for that too. So let's, let's see what's in this big old box. First thing, the instruction manual. Owner's manual, user's manual. And then we have a battery charger. It is cordless, so you got to be able to charge your battery. It actually comes with two batteries. And these are uh, 20 volt. 20 volt lithium ion batteries. 
and you can also you can see what the charge state of charge is by pushing that button if it gets low it just slips right in like that don't have to make it as hard as dude rv was making it and then we have a microphone megaphone and now we have the motor so it's a nice compact package that'll fit into just into a small storage space and or for like our motor home I've got these these seven inch tall pass through spaces about this tall that fits right into one of those pass through spaces and then we put the battery on now there are some specific some specs on this let's, let's get those out of the way real quick because they're really important you want to know this stuff so it's a 20 volt motor it is variable speed and it's variable on the trigger it's not an on and off so it works great if you're trying to get your fire started you can get a little breeze but if it just won't go you get a you get a big breeze air volume is 200 cfm when the air speed at i'm sure this is measured right here but it's 81 miles an hour uh and it'll operate it charges in 54 minutes so about an hour uh 20 volt 2 amp hour lithium ion battery and it weighs 1.8 kilograms so it's not very heavy <laughs> But it'll really blow some stuff around. So we need to go find something to blow around. Let me go, let's go find something to blow. The one thing you gotta remember when you're using well, just about any leaf blower where the intake is right on the end. Just don't don't let your alpaca poncho cover the intake because then it won't blow very well. The new master cordless leaf blower. I think this is a great addition to your RV kit. Thank you, new master. Multi-Tool Direct, thank you so much for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Fives. All right, let's go check out our third item sponsor. Our third sponsor for this edition of Friday's Fives is Washimi, an Amazon store. And Washimi has sent us a portable, a portable steam cleaner. And I've already opened the box and I, and I had some camera issues. So, uh, so that unboxing footage is it's gone to wherever lost video files go. But we still have all the stuff that came out of that box, so I can show you what that was. We look down here. Whoop, not quite that fast. So we have three different scrubbing accessories. A wand, because it actually came with this in place so this is how it was unboxed this is this allows you to add the scrubbing tool if you need a scrubbing tool but if you want to be a little further away or you're getting into a tight space and that when Yappy saw this she got so excited because we've got a few places in the RV that it's really tough to clean and once I showed this to her she's like oh my gosh that's amazing all right and it I put distilled water in the container you always want to you always want to use distilled water because 
otherwise otherwise you'll have deposits build up and your your steam device won't last very long it's very simple to operate when you plug it in you get some light on the switch and then you push the switch and it lights up here you get a green light that shows that you're heating there's temperature settings on top so you can set it up to five And now it's kicking and we're going to start having steam come out of the wand. I'm sorry, it goes up to six, from one to six. And now we're spitting. It'll spit for a few minutes. That's how fast this little thing heats up. All right, while that's heating up, because I've got a, I got something for us to clean here. We'll do a little, little cleaning on this lantern. As you can see, it's really grubby inside. You gotta be careful not to touch any of the metal because it is it is really hot. So if you want to put a, a nozzle on, you gotta turn it off. Now we can go back to scrubbing. Citronella oil. So I had a, a citronella bug repellent lamp in here and it really gummed it up. to clean stains not a problem <laughs> that is awesome all right let's move on to the next one this, this this little thing is if you like if you're a clean freak and you want stuff to be sanitary steam will get it sanitized all right let's move on to product number four and this this isn't a, a sponsored product this is one that I purchased. If you do any video work, and I've, I've had some people ask me what, what kind of tripod, what kind of system do I use to hold the camera? And I use, hold on, let me take it off and I'll show you what I use. So this is the stick that I use for selfie stuff and it's got this if you, you hear that clacking in the back in the audio it's it's this foot and it, and it really comes through as really annoying noise on my footage so i went on looking for something that would be a little less noisy re require a little less editing and this is what I came up with. This is the Ulanzi. The Ulanzi. 
Ulanzi Go Quick 2. 1.4 meter tripod. It comes with a mounting bolt and it it doesn't lock in place whereas the one that I'm using here it it's a twist lock. It just telescopes. So it's a meter. So what I liked about this is that it actually has a tripod that doesn't flop around and I can lock it in place. And it ex extends out four feet, four and a half feet, well, maybe five feet. So it's longer, however long a meter is, that's what we have. It's longer, the tripod locks in place. The tripod locks in place with a thumb screw, twists to lock or unlock, and then you can tighten it down so it's not going to be clacking. We need to put a camera on it, don't we? Well, just so happens I have a camera or two laying around. So that's it, the full extension. If you want to get some really cool aerial shots without a drone, you do it that. You need to look over the wall, you got that. Yeah. So far, I'm very pleased with what I see. Best of all, best of all, when I'm ready, if I need to take the camera off, it's an easy, quick disconnect. I don't have to un... I don't have to unscrew. The Ulani. The Ulani... Ulanzi. Ula, it's got a Z in it. Ulanzi. Ulanzi! Go quick, too. You'll be happy you bought it. I know I am. All right, that brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. I'd like to give a, a heartfelt thank you to our video sponsors this week. All of these products can be found on Amazon. And I am an Amazon influencer and I just happen to have an Amazon page. And in the link you'll find in the description below and in the card above, that link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Influencer page. We would appreciate your business. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. I do these videos on a regular basis, so if this is the kind of content that you like, Hit that subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well so you'll never miss another edition of Friday's Finds. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm, I'm most honored. That's why I get to do what I do. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?